Thank you, and good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Tor Oga, and I'm teaching the politics and international relations this year, the Kyushu University. And um, this is a joint research with the Professor Makoto Fujibara, and she's a, um, she's a psychologist in teaching of Kokato Gaku Universities. Um, so this is mainly the survey-based research, and uh, I make a research design and survey questions, and uh, Professor Fujimura um, they doing the data analysis and the interpretation from the data. And so I took about four things um, in today's presentation. The first way, I'll explain the aim of our research project, and the, our surveys um, takes uh, two times, the last year and this year. So the pre previous research means that we take surveys in the 2018, and uh, the current research is we take surveys in 2019. And so, and finally, the, we compare the, the previous, the two research, previous research and current research, and finally, uh, we do the some, conclu some concluding demands and uh, we make uh, some future research plans. Okay. So the basic motivation of and the basic focus of our research is there are many methods of active learning, the including debate and also the uh, presentation and discussion and some the research learning method. So there are many methods for, for the active learning. And our main focus is the how the debating experience and the practice uh, have an effect on non-debating communication such as the speech and discussion and group works. And so this study aims to examine and focus on the, the two aspects, the recent debate experience and debate practice. And um, what does that mean? Okay. First, I'll explain the definition. The debate experience is the experience of the debate that we should not have prior to the attending the class, such as high school or such as crowd activities. And debate practice is a, the practice of the debate the, as a class curriculum. And so, the, so we have two questions. The first way, the how have debate experiences the before the class, the effect on the student motivation for the discussions? And secondly, the how have the debate practiced in the class the effect on the student motivation for the discussions? And the basic method is like this. The, we have a four weeks class and the we will conduct the questionnaire service on uh, uh, especially it's a service for the discussion in the week one and week four. So it's the beginning of the class and uh, after the end of the class. And this four weeks class the, we have a the 12 hours, and in the 12 hours, the basically we have a, the group discussion and the group discussion and the debate. And okay, so um, more concretely, the our focus is the like with these two questions. So firstly, the, are there any difference in the questionnaire's response the, between the student with debate experience and the without debate experience? And secondly. The any difference between the, the first and the last survey responses, uh, it means the any difference between week one response and week four responses. And so um, I just explained the what is the contents of the questionnaires. And so we have a set of the statement uh, like this. The for example, the it is fun to have a conversation with a stranger or I can ask a question at the suitable context or something. So the student have a, the set of the questionnaires of the statement, and student choose the ugly or disagree in the second level. For example, the if students strongly agree, the student choose seven, and uh, if students strongly disagree, student choose one, and, and like this. And the, actually we have uh, the nine frames of the questions the, like this, the, from discussion image, discussion skills, and blah, 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 and the communication skills and self-esteem or something, and the, the nine questions. So, so this is a questionnaire. So in, in particular, the, we, uh, we can make sure the motivational effect the how students positively or negatively evaluate the discussion and the communications. And, then uh, going to the first research. So first research taking place in the second half of 2018. And the focus is on freshmen. And this is a, the, 
general education class, they were the, all the department students that joined this class. And in this class, um, that there are 50 students, and 50 students and three classes, so totally 150 students. And And according to the questionnaire, and the, we analyze the, the data, the, there's a, um, firstly, the, the, the student with the debate experience, that they're very positive on the communication skills and discussion skills, and also they have a very positive scores uh, on the group works. And also they tend to understand the significance of the actively speaking, their opinions, and also they how understand the arresting the other's opinions. And the secondly, the discussion practice. So the, this is, a, as I said, the only the four weeks class. So discussion practice means the student only have a discussion practice for the four weeks. So um, here, the, there is some positive impact uh, on the motivation, the engaging, the active discussion, and ability to ability for the discussion. But um, there are very limited or sometimes negative impact on the logical thinking and collaboration activities. And also, the, they have a limited impact on the other types of communication, such as the first time meeting and the speeches and the presentation. So the, it means the, if they do the discussion practice, that they have a positive, a positive effect um, on the discussion skills and the, the en engaging and joining discussion. But, um, limiting impact on other types of communication, the, such as presentation and speeches. And also, the, they have a positive impact on the proceeding, but limited on the arguments and opinions. And the, this is the previous research. And then, uh, let me move to the present research. That this, uh, it took place in 2019, the first semester. and. Um, and this uh, survey is uh, conducted on the specific department, and we call SISI, the School of Interdisciplinary Science and Innovations, and uh, we call it Kyoso Gakubu. And, and we focus on second year student. And actually, the, we have a 25 student class, and there are actually four classes. But um, the, because of the, the cancellation of the class due to the typhoon, uh, we conducted the surveys only the three classes, so total is seventy five people. So the number is, number is the not so many. So the people have a debate experience. The, actually, the, the, we have a similar result with the previous research. They have a positive on the communication and the discussion skills, and also they have a positive on the, the analyzing the problems. And the, uh, in the case of debate practice in the class, the, in, uh, in this class, the, we have a four weeks. And one of the four, uh, so the one week, the, we take a debate, and one week, one, one or two weeks, the, we take a discussion and, and group work. And also, the, we have a positive image on the discussion and speech, and also the discussion skills, the opinion, engagement, and logic. But um, limited or little impact on the proceeding and the collaborations. So the comparing the, the this result and the previous result, the results are mostly similar. But um, but um, let me make sure the pre previous previous class uh, is only doing the discussion, and the current class is doing discussion and debate. And in terms of the logical thinking. The current class is a more positive than the previous one. Uh, it means the, if the class, including the debate practice, that they have the more positive on, on the both school thinking. But um, on the discussion skills, the, the both of them are the positive. Um, there's the no big difference. And also collaboration and other forms of communication, such as the group talks and the speeches, they, if uh, they have a the debate practice, the, it is not a positive result. But if the student have a debate experience, that they are very positive on the collaboration and other forms of communications. Yes, and um, the explanation explanation so far, uh, we we focus on the questionnaires on the 
image and the skills on, on the discussions. But um, in the current research class, the, I put on the, the different the question I said. There is a, the inclusion question. So inclusion questions, the, <coughs> so, the inclusion question consists of three parts. The question on the fairness and opinion inclusion and decision making inclusion. The examples of question is like that. The fairness, uh, for example, the everyone should have an equal opportunity for the growth and the promotions. They agree or disagree. The, this is a fairness question. And opinion inclusion questions. The, for example, the the difference from diverse people are variable, and they agree or disagree. And also the Decision making inclusion is in case of problem solution, we respect and utilize diverse opinions and perspectives and agree with disagree. That this is a uh, decision making inclusion. And by analyzing the data, the student with the four weeks debate practice, they, they have a little impact on, on the fairness questions, but um, they have pushed it on, on the opinion inclusion and the decision making inclusions. Uh, but compared with this, the people have a previously have a debate. It, uh, sorry, uh, it, sorry, it, it's a sec. the the latter part is a, the student have a debate experience the before the class. The, so they have a little impact on the fairness, and they have a little impact on the decision making inclusion. The, they only have a positive impact on on the opinion inclusions. So, so it, it means that if students have a previously the debate experience, the, they are not so uh, focus on the fairness or decision making inclusions, but uh, they are positively focused on the opinion inclusions. So, um, so, uh, and this is a future research plan and. So the previous and the current research, they will focus on the image and the skills, and also the motivational effects on uh, on the skills on the discussions. But um, so the future research plan, we are think of the what kind of the ideas and the perspectives the when people have a debate experiences. For example, the what kind of political perspectives? <coughs> sorry. The what kind of political perspectives the people have when they express debate? The, for example, more liberal or more conservative. Or the, how this trend varies in, in the different debate format, the, such as the research based debate and parliamentary debate and the debate uh, in Japanese. And how the different, different formats of the debate uh, influence the, this, uh, the people have a political perspective and ideas. And, so a future research plan is like that. So they ask the debaters the series of the que uh, series of the questionnaires be arranged by the political compass. The political compass is a uh, this is an example of the questions. The political compass is a uh, they have a uh, they have a the political statement and they answer agree or disagree and uh, agree or disagree and the someone agree or someone disagree or something. And um, for example, the uh, and it's like a debate motions. Okay? I always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. And if they strongly agree, then they scored seven or something. And if uh, they strongly disagree, then they scored one or two. And so, so the our thinking is that the uh, we set up the similar que similar questionnaires by the political compass, and the the we analyze the. How the debate experience and how the, the different format of the debate experience they have an effect on the political ideas and the political ide political ideology and perspectives. Okay, this, thank you for this thing. Two questions. The first is regarding all the massive 
of um, the design of the questionnaire. Uh, how, why did you choose to run the questionnaire as it is? Like, are there, as, a, as far as I remember, it's like seven skills. Uh, yeah. From strongly disagree to strongly agree. Um, my question is like, did you reference any like um, sources to design the seven uh, seven part scale, or is a conventional uh, way when we are doing this kind of qualitative questionnaire? Uh, uh, yes, the, we have nine scales of the different sets of the question and. E, the most of each of them uh, is a different to the existing the question and existing the sample questionnaires. Mm. So, like one of my concern is that, uh, according to people who are from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. um, some people are more likely to be very authentic when they are building their like preferences and like the rankings, um, but. In some culture, like Japan, maybe in specific, people are more likely to be um, like mediocre ish. So, not likely to choose like the like the two ends oh. of the um, mm -hmm. part. So, like, did you like compare um, like different possible ways of making the um, um, scale? that make it more accurate is like uniquely to the Japanese uh, examinee or like for there this kind of like that they are not very like professional in, in this uh, in this kind of qualitative study so uh, yeah. uh, is a qualitative study the focus on the Japanese questionnaires? Yeah 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 so like, are there studies regarding on um, how, what is the best way to design a questionnaire, um, especially this kind of uh, uh, subjective opinion question, like in Japan? Uh, I know one studies from the Tokyo universities. For example, if there is a questionnaire uh, answers, the agree or agree or uh, somewhat agree and somewhat disagree and disagree and uh, we can say they agree or disagree and the, this study shows the Japanese people tend to choose the I can say agree or disagree uh, the Dutra or something. Yeah. Uh, so like maybe more mm. in, um, like more komakai this scale mm. is like it's more accurate in Japan mm. So more accurate means the 10 scale or 12 scale? Or so no, I, I mean, I, I'm just asking, like, is that true? Like, when we have, like, more scales, it, mm. it, you tend to have relatively more accurate results. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, okay, I think so. Um, but I have no authority in this. Yeah. Um, another question is, like, um, do you think the examinees know that they are being studied on the issue of the effect of debating education to their like uh, ability of discussion? Uh, yeah. So they are aware of their the subject of the study. Uh, you mean the previous studies? Um, I mean both. So are those students? you examine, know that they're being examined of this experiment that is testing the effect of debate education on their like, discussion skill. Uh, yes, student. So like my question is, um, if that is the case, without a um, control group, mm. my concern is probably you saying, oh, after I have this debating class, probably I should be better at discussing skill. So when they're filling the questionnaire, they feel like, oh, maybe I should feel like one <coughs> column uh, more, like, um, like more in terms of the discussion skill. And uh, how did you eliminate the error and take those into consideration while, uh, like, getting the 
conclusion of the this? Uh, actually, the, we do, and the the we have the other control groups, and for example, the, in this case, the we focus on the three classes and uh, the seventy five students, and other we have uh, the other class students. They nothing to do with debate in the class, and they have the around the fifty and six students. So we have control groups, but um, uh, actually, the, this part is a. Uh, I'll uh, chat by the Fujimura Sensei. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, when I uh, coach debate, when I try to measure motivational effects, I empirically think that interpersonal relationship largely influences the motivation of participants. For example, if there is a really attractive person, people are motivated in each discussion. There are, lot, there are a bunch of lazy people that people's motivation is <laughs> reduced, right? Mm -hmm. That's my sort of experience, interior experience. Mm -hmm. Do you have any chance to consider that aspect or element of motivation? Or do you think that sort of interpersonal relationship is just a small or natural part of motivation? Or have you, what, what kind of equation have you got when you have this kind of project? Um, I touched on this analysis in this presentation, but um, we have a four weeks class and week one and week four we have a, the long questionnaires. But um, in addition, the, we ask the small questionnaires in every week. The every week questionnaires, the asking the um, how good or how bad the with the group and your friends and 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 they evaluate each other's uh, and the ways in the groups. And the, maybe the, this aspect is uh, also measured by if we analyze the, the weekly questionnaires. But uh, the analysis is the not yet done okay. in my presentation. Yeah. So from your sort of impression by like observing students, do you think that sort of interpersonal like relationship or like attractiveness of participants uh, have something to do with the motivation or it's just uh, I think it's very active. Yeah, the active correlation between the the other participants. But um, but uh, actually, I'm going to uh, only focus on the freshman and sophomore class. And maybe the for the freshman is very important for the for the other people in the groups. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, um, thank you very much.